Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to a quick review. Uh, damn, I didn't even turn the lights on for this review. That's how, that's how unimportant this review is. How unimportant this movie is. This movie flopped at the box office. Did terrible with critics. No one cares. No one. No one cares. Uh, this, of course, is The Crow 2024. Um, I saw it. I forgot to even mention that I saw it on Twitter and all this, these places. I didn't even do a video for it until now. Uh, this is like a week and a half after I already watched it. And, uh, yeah, so, um, let's talk about it. This, of course, is, uh, the new movie, uh, of course, based on the, I can't remember if it's a comic or a graphic novel. I never read it either way. Uh, but of course it's, all the reason why this exists is because of the original movie, 30 year old movie at this point. Uh, Brandon Lee, of course, rest in peace. Um, Alex Proyas directed a great movie stylistically amazing loved it great story just all around great movie uh, is there flaws sure but it's a fucking great movie I love it I really do uh, so when I heard there was a remake of The Crow coming out about 15 years ago when this was first announced I was like yeah that could work I mean it'll be definitely better at least than the terrible terrible sequels um and it was Mind you, but it, 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 it we'll get to that in a second. It's gonna be a quick review. I'm not gonna fucking spend too much time with this game or this movie. Um, but uh, yeah, like it, it went through so many different directors and actors. Bradley Cooper was attached, Luke Evans was attached, Jason Momoa was attached. Forget, I think everybody was attached to this freaking movie. I think I want to say at one point, I, I could be wrong, I think Chris Pratt was gonna be the crow. Um, no, no, actually, I could be wrong though. I could be wrong. I think. And you could correct me if I'm wrong. I think Garfield was actually going to be the crow at one point. Not Gar, not not Chris Pratt. Garfield, the cat himself. Everybody was going to be the son bitch. So the crow finally came out after 15 years. It bombed horribly. It it grossed like 4.6 million dollars in its first weekend. Eighth place, right behind Coraline, which by the way is a movie that came out 15 years ago that got re-released this year for the second time in the year span. By the way, it got re-released last year also. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was a, a, a humongous flop and it was just not a very good movie. It really wasn't. It was a basic as hell story. It was 40 minutes of setup to get to the crow stuff that the first movie took about three minutes to get to, um, building up the st love story, which I guess, you know, some people can argue that the original movie didn't really build that story up, but that wasn't really a, the point. It was about watching Eric Draven you know it means so much to him to get this revenge. You you know it immediately, and there's a little bit of mystery in there, and I really like that. That's not what the point of the story was. It wasn't the point wasn't like, oh no, I love this this two couple. You know, or this uh, these two people, this couple. You don't know them. So this movie just completely negates that and says, you know, we're gonna build up this relationship so you feel for it, and I'm okay with that. But it takes like 30, 40 minutes. I think about maybe like 35 minutes, let's say. We're around 35 minutes until the murder actually happens. But before that, they're building up this relationship. And it is way too fast. First of all, the chemistry is okay at best. It's not really all that great. The acting's fine. I really like Bill Skarsgård. I think he was actually a good choice for The Crow. But I, I just don't think he's... I don't know. He's not... He's good in the role, mind you. He is. Especially towards the end. But... I just don't think his care this version of the character really works. He's just kind of like a wimpy little like I'm caring. Like he's like that kind of guy. He's just like he talks very you know, whatever and he lets people treat him like shit and stuff. Whatever. He has like a tragic backstory. It's generic. Um and then FKA Twigs, is that her name? I don't fucking know. Um she's alright in the movie. I don't think she was terrible. But uh she's just you know, she has a backstory and she I think she was a prostitute at one point. I don't freaking know. It, it doesn't really matter. Point is they both have bad tragic backstories and then they meet to meet each other and it's like really quick immediately they fall in love and it's very awkward because he's drawing naked pictures of her and she's just like, Oh look, this bruv. Um, I don't know. It's very strange and weird. It's very movie. You just don't buy it, and then when they get murdered i'm just like whatever and then he comes back and it takes another like 30 minutes until he does full-on crow shit because he, he's back resurrected and he's still not really doing crow shit you know what i mean he's just like i'm like i don't know what that is. i don't know where to go i don't know what to do i don't know i'm scared and then it takes like literally until like an hour and like 10 minutes and until he's like yeah i'm the crow I'm put the black stuff on my face i'm gonna look like the crow you get the leather jacket that they introduced in the beginning of the movie because it's a gift from fka twigs which i'm like all right uh and then the crow's following me they don't ever do anything with the crow by the way remember the original the movie the crow where they actually weaken the crow 
crow. They shoot the crow and then, oh, look, and he's weakened too. They never do anything. The crow's just there, whatever. They do have like a spiritual guide this time, which I think in the original story, there was a guide that follows Eric Draven around and they kind of cut that. I think it was filmed, but they cut it from the original movie. But in this, they kind of have that, but it's just, he's just there to say, do this. All right. All right. You screwed up. Oh, but I'll give you this now. Okay. Now do this. You know, it's just like, whatever. It's, it's pointless. Uh, the only thing I'll say is that, like, it's filmed well enough. It just doesn't look like The Crow. It's filmed fine. Like, the direction is okay, I guess. The action's pretty good. I like some of the action, especially the opera house scene, which is towards the end. It gets suitably violent. Uh, someone gives someone gets a Glasgow smile. I think that's what it's called, or Glasgow. I don't know. The one where you just cut through the cheeks or whatever. Um, I, was, I, I always think about, like, Upgrade, if everybody's seen that movie. That one has, like, one of the best. Um, and uh, someone gets, like, stabbed. Like, there's some fun stuff in there. I won't spoil anything else because I know nobody saw this movie. But, uh, yeah, so there's some good stuff in that little action scene towards the end. It just doesn't feel like The Crow, though. And I don't care about the relationship. And it just takes way too long to get going. There's some funny, bad moments here and there, I guess. But for the most part, I just found it to be not dull. I wasn't really bored. I was, like, still, like, whatever. It was just kind of like one of those movies you put on in the background and you kind of, like, pay attention a little bit while you're, like, I don't know, cleaning your room or making dinner or something. Um, you just put it on and you just kind of... You just like you listen you know <laughs> you don't really process it it's just like on and maybe when some actions happen you're like oh shit oh you just kill a motherfucker wow that was brutal and then you just move on you know it's it's okay i'm not gonna spend too much time they also like sequel bait which is fucking the most obviously like last minute thing too because it was it was literally like oh we're done the story's over and then he it, and then the character turns to the camera and says or is it pretty much like i was just like what <laughs> he's like i'm not quite done here yet i'm like no you're done here bro you make like 25 bucks fuck out of here you're done <laughs> anyway overall i don't think it was terrible i think it was like more average than anything it's, it was just a bland movie it didn't feel like the crow it just felt like supernatural john wick shit you know oh he gets shot a bunch he can't die they do a thing later where he's, like, getting controlled by Danny Houston's character because he's, like, an evil demon man, which I, I found humorous, I guess, that he was just an evil demon man that would just go to, up to people and say, like, demon shit to control them and make them kill themselves. So you just go, hubby, 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 hubby. and that's, like, demon speak for uh, kill yourself right now. He's like, he was, like, uh, the purple guy in uh, J Jessica Jones. Anything he says, they'll do, you know? Um, but that was, like, fun and interesting, I guess, but, like, they don't really do much with it besides, you know obvious shit like oh someone falls off the thing oh someone slits their throat you know i don't know there wasn't like any like really f horrific kills with that character um but uh i i, I don't know I, I didn't hate it i just i don't know i i, I give up i'll give a five i think it was just average maybe even a little below average maybe like a 4.5 out of 10 i, I don't think it was terrible but it was just whatever <sighs> 15 years of waiting yikes